Hi, I'm Carl and thanks for checking out my video. This is episode zero, my introduction to my electric bike project that I'm naming Turtle. I quit my job back in January of 2020 before I knew about the virus and impending lockdown. I live about 15 miles from the nearest town where the post office, gas station, and civilized people live. My little ranch here is 40 acres of off-grid awesomeness in the west side of Texas near El Paso and close to Mexico. I catch rainwater in the desert. Solar panels power my lights, cooking, and computers. In April, I sold my truck, leaving a broken down motorcycle and a couple of bicycles. My needs are simple, but my dreams are pretty cool. What you're about to see is my attempt at building an off-grid DIY survival quadricycle, a pedal-powered microcar with electric solar assist. With this, I'm planning to not have to buy gas, have insurance, or deal with licensing stuff. I'm not going to get into a lot of specifics on most of this for a few reasons. The laws will most likely be different in your location, but for some general guidelines, an electric assisted bicycle is usually legal if it is speed limited or if its motor is below a certain power rating. I may mention parts I'm using, some of which you may or may not be able to get. I did a little research, but my way is most likely not the best way to do this, or anything for that matter. A lot of what I have is from eBay, right out of China. At the moment, I'm just getting started on testing, so I can't really recommend any of it, okay? My choice of batteries was kind of haphazard. The motor and speed controller are a matched set, though. I will be using a mix of bicycle parts, scrap metal, and random wheels I have on hand. Some parts I did buy new for this project, though. Lastly, this is a project very much subject to feature creep. What I have now in August of 2020 is very different from what I imagined back in March. I had some notion of what I wanted, but no real idea of how I was going to make it work. I need this for three main missions. First, once a week, I ride a bicycle into town to check mail and packages at the post office. That is about 15 miles each way. After doing that ride a few times, I'm getting to the point I almost don't care if I have electric assist, but with heavy packages or a very hot day, it can be very uncomfortable on a bike for a few hours. Second, the nearest grocery store is about 50 miles away. As with the post office, the first 15 miles is a sandy gravel road which is not the best road for bicycles. Once I get to town, it's paved road to the grocery store, dollar store, and the hardware store, etc. With an electric boost on the paved road, I could probably cruise along pretty well. The third mission is a bit more ambitious. A few years ago, I did some motorcycle traveling and camping. Starting in Canada, I rode north to Alaska and then down to Texas, camping along the way. As I develop this quad bike project, I'm looking forward to if I could use this for extended travel. Travel without paying for gas sounds like a clever shortcut, right? So while a simple electric bike kit could get me to check in my mail once a week, it's not enough for the longer rides I am planning for. An electric bike, or electric car for that matter, are limited in range by the size of their batteries. There is a growing movement of people who are adding solar panels to their electric bikes. I've been looking at some of their progress on YouTube, and in the last month I've learned a lot. There is a solar electric bike race that goes from France to China, several thousand miles for example. When I first started planning for this bike, I started with an obvious question. How many batteries would it take to go 100 miles? I picked that because I used to work in El Paso, so it's about 100 miles from my house to where I used to work and shop, where I was most familiar. Since then, I found I could get most of my groceries shipped to the post office, which made things a lot simpler. But I'd still like to go to the dollar store once in a while, right? 
Next, I realized it was more practical to do more pedaling and not just build a full electric bike. The people in the solar race are estimating they may pedal 80% and use solar electric to boost them 20%. Think of it like riding with a gentle tailwind. I like bike riding, so I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. If I take that idea to use solar for an assist instead of a full drive system, then the motor, battery, and solar panels can be much simpler. The motor I picked is 750 watts, or about one horsepower. Typically, an electric bicycle motor starts at 250 watts, but can go over 1000 watts for cargo bikes. The design I will be using is a recumbent bike, so instead of sitting up on top like a regular bike, you are laying back with your feet out in front of you. That gives you the advantage of much less wind resistance. Also, your weight is on your back, not on your wrists, which sounds really nice on a bumpy road. I'm looking at four wheels for the reason of hauling cargo. There are a few quads on the market, and the area between the rear wheels is very well suited to putting boxes or storage totes, etc. And I could also pull a small trailer. Solar panels up above would make for a really nice shade roof, which sounds like a great idea for the desert. That's the plan anyway. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe if you're interested. Thanks for watching and bye for now.